and greetings gamers and welcome back to Let's Play Colonization. Last time we left off, I let you guys decide what we're going to call these two towns. Well, I've decided. This town? Yes, I've done that. Yes, I've done all the import-export things. All the micromanaging, in theory, should go away. Now, New Holland shall become... Fort... Ah, what's it gonna be? Fort Boob? Sadly, no. Fort Rainbow. And this little town... There's only one choice for this town. After the heroic efforts of um, the colonists in um, SKS's Let's Play of Colonization, I have no choice but to name this town. Great. Oh god. Oh, that's Pepsi's coming up. I say again, great. Spam. Indeed. And on another note, uh, we are going to have this place. How much gold we got? Oh, we got shit gold. Finish that. You're making political points, that's good. Dry dock, finish it. Stockade, finish it. Nad, finish it. You, finish it. Do we need a tobacconist hat? We don't need a tobacconist hat. We have one. You guys... While you built it all so far, you can build political points now. Okay, good, 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 good. Basically, I've come to a stunning realization, folks. Yeah, we need political points, and we need them badly. Now, I've basically gone through and looked at all of these guys. We don't really want any in the religious sector. Yeah, I mean, he would be nice, Harvard, but I'm not gonna cry. Same thing for him. Be nice, but, you know, I'm not gonna cry. He's only good if you get in with him, really, because you get a priest's church, and that means a plus two liberty bell. But, exploration. Are we doing an exploration, actually? I didn't look here, actually. Yeah, you see him, we don't need. Because we're not going to mass produce all the school, university, all that. These guys, yes we do. We definitely need Lewis and Clark. So now I'm going to do this tactically. We've almost got enough exploration points. We're going to basically have all the towns. Um, all the towns except for Jamestown, our capital. To make us political points. Because I'm tired of all these Chinese getting ahead of us. Trade. Only person we want is him. Military. You are not first. You are not first. These guys, these three over here, I'd rather. They cost a lot of military points, and to be fair, I think I'm the only one who's doing well, political points-wise. I mean, I've bought three guys, everyone else has only bought one. That should say something. But political points on its own... I mean, we don't know who's bought him yet, okay. These... most of these guys are excellent to have. But uh, Thomas Paine, for example, very good. Samuel Adams, good, if you intend to let the, uh, what you call it, tax rates rise a lot. Then you have him, 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 and jolly old Ben Franklin. This guy, one ship of the line, one for four cannons, four veteran soldiers. You basically need this guy for independence. It makes things so much easier. But no matter. We have a Zedric mercenary here. Missionary. Why can't I ever say it right? And this guy is going to become a soldier. Now, 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 we're going to have this guy now come down to... I'm going to have him come over here. Drop 
that bomb over here so we can go to Great Spam. And I'll just have him sell all the shit we currently have stocked in Jamestown. Oh, uh, we get to build things. Yeah, now that we have a dry dock, we can now build things, folks. Warehouse expansion, how much does that cost? Guess what? Political points. Stockade would be nice, but you're going to build political points. You. Political points. You. God damn it, I need a warehouse in each one. That's like the minimum requirement. I told you it's not happening. Okay, warehouse. These guys have a warehouse, right? Copter, Weaver, blah 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 blah. Yeah, you got a warehouse. Very good. This town is actually pretty damn advanced, actually. Uh, talk to him. Go ahead. Now you are going to look down here. Glow be turning. Because, you know, we got a lot of cash. We're doing alright for ourselves, folks. Uh, farmer. Farmer could go here, actually. I mean, he could. You know what? Fuck it, he will. No, you are actually... going there. Because I have a cunning plan. We have noticed that I'm importing and exporting ore everywhere. That's because I'm going to have this ore miner come over here and mine over here. Because mining, yeah, you can see that. Seven ore. And basically when you have a specialist, it usually doubles. So I'm going to have 14 ore coming out of this place. We're going to be able to fill everyone's ore pockets pretty damn quickly with that, I reckon. Right, you do things. Once the merchantman is done with all that, I'm going to set up the trade route with it and Europe. Yeah, basically micromanaging is taken away, but you still need to give the initial orders. For example, we have... Okay, mine that all. You're breaking even on that, you're getting a lot of wood coming in. I'm happy, yeah, reasonable enough, good, good, You're making political points, very good, okay, you guys, automate, and here we are, folks, now, I'm basically thinking for everything that's ore and lumber, I'm going to use wagon trains, everything else, probably tools and guns as well, because they, the way basically my colonies are set up, they're not likely to get attacked by raiding parties, you know, Indians. But on the sea, yeah, they will be privateers eventually. So, everything else, tobacco, tobacco. Was there tobacco up here? There was no tobacco up here. Cotton. Why is there cotton? Mr. Cotton. That's a great name. Mr. Cotton. Doo, doo, doo. Got some violin rocking out right now. This has actually hurt my eyes, this. <laughs> Coats. Rum. That's what we wanted. Cigars. Very good. Yeah, those luxury products, as it were. Tobacco, good, 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 good. You only need to do this once, but you do need to do that, folks. That, this. You do need to do this, folks. I'll take all the hassle away afterwards. Silver, do it. Tobacco, do it. I'm gonna have one merchantman do deal with all of this crap. Because basically, while... 
the reserves are cropping up, so that's, such as, you know, the silver and all that. While that's increasing, it can deal with all the tobacco business, you know, ferrying tobacco uh, to Plymouth, where they make cigars. Forgot that one. And I think cigars, good lord, there's a lot of cigars in. I don't remember saying not this many trade routes. As you can see, it's most your lumber. Okay, we are done. Thank the Lord for that. Okay, that one has tools and tobacco for some reason. Okay, we got a free colonist. That's very nice. Just got text, folks. Bear with me. Okay, you. Oh, town, go over there. Your Excellency. And we have brought a caravel here. Ah, sell all that. See, that's what the automated thing does normally, but now that we have several trade routes, we have to do it ourselves. Okay, you sold all that, very nice. You can go to Jamestown. No and now that we have brought it from here and it's gone back to Europe. Ooh, the Cherokee want to go ahead. Whereabouts are the Cherokee? I've no idea where they are. Are these guys? Those are the Iroquois. Are you the... No, you're the Hiwana Kapak. Incan, sorry. <laughs> where are the Cherokee? I know the Aztecs, the Incans there. These are the Kum, Kum Mambis. The Iroquois. Iroquois, Iroquois. The Arawak. These Indian tribes sound a lot like Pokemon for some reason. Oh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's the only Cherokee village I've seen. Oh, sure, we'll defend you from across the bloody continent. We're all fucking done there, Alliance. And we've just overshot the town! Fantastic! Okay, we're losing a lot of founding fathers to people. But, we are making a lot of political points in I'm just gonna have a little look. Oh yeah, you see, we've gone from, we've doubled our political points in just three turns. So yeah. We're doing well, folks. We're doing very well. I should have done this from the beginning. We've got a lot of towns now, we can make a lot of political points. There's no reason not to do it. And I think those are the Australians. The light blue, that's Australia. Okay, why have you brought me up here? No idea. Okay, colonist, you can't be a soldier. I am disappointed. Well, you can be the fisherman. Actually, now we got enough ore, we should go right in there. Yeah, fisherman. Samuel Adams. Okay, I'm gonna have to look again. Who's been Samuel? Oh, asshole. Chinese have got a. I mean, look at the exploration. They've got one, two, three, four. Religion. Five, six, seven. Who is Shen Chengon? We have diplomacy. What are his bonuses? A farewell. Military advisor. 
This usually tells you, uh, you. Plus one, okay, so you get plus one food on plots that have two food, that's not bad. Minus 25% cost recruiting. That shouldn't help him with... That really, really shouldn't help him with the whole, you know, roll stopping, I'm stealing all your founding fathers, but I mean, look at this. Religion-wise, who knew the Chinese were so religious? Trade-wise... Okay, the French have that more or less sussed. Actually, it's pretty much a tie between everyone there. As long as we get Sergis McCormick, and we're almost there, trade-wise. Political points we're climbing will be there soon. Military. Seeing as I'm the only one who's made any progress military-wise, I mean, look, I've got three guys. I'm pretty much sure. We don't... You know, this last guy, I'm not Don Predo, I'm not fussed. These two, on the other hand, I could really use. Just for the extra units. And I shall uh, forever regret getting Pocahontas. She is useless. We should never have gotten her. We might have been able to get Samuel Adams, if not for her. As well as many others, in fact. Oh ho! You want cash, do you? Well, fuck you! You only use it to buy guns to shoot me. And once again, we have found a town. Go over there. I think, is that... That can't be dead. Oh well, thank you. Give me cotton. That only means that I'm going to have to... You know, set up an export route. Oh, the Russians. We found the Russians, folks. Here, they've been hiding all this time. And it was the Australians down here. As you can see, they don't have an animated thing. They don't have the budget for it. Very expensive, you know. You've got a little something there. Never mind. Those guys want horses. Well, yip de freaking do. I need them more. It ain't happening. I'm not accepting open borders with anyone, folks. I'm not being favorite. If there's no favoritism here, it's no one's getting in. No one. I forgot how good the music is. You know, nice relaxing. Very nice. Okay, the Russians and these guys, the Kumambwes, I think. Eh, Kunhambe, Waka, 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 hamburgers. They must be very nice with each other, because, uh, yeah, they've been moving around all around. Ooh! Now, see, we have enough points to get this guy. But if we do that, we'll ruin all the progress we made for all this. So you know what? No. Because if you notice, this guy's been taken. And this guy takes a bit more than him. I think. No, it's a little less. Go figure. Well, we definitely want this guy. So, uh, yeah, that double production speed, you see, it's double production speed of all those things. Now, I don't have it yet, any of those. So, in theory, it'd be nice to build them. But you have to keep in mind, folks, that I basically set up the system where I'm, get, I'm making, um, like the cigars, for example. I'm not uh, decreasing cigars, I'm like um, stagnating. That's what you want, really. You want to stagnate. And no wonder these guys are so chummy with each other. The Russians have given these guys guns. I said no. 
now that's a lot more interesting. Thomas Paine? Where are you, Thomas Paine? There's Thomas Paine. It would ruin all our political points so far. As much as, as I would like him, It's... I'm torn, folks. Because that looks a lot nicer. Because I have a lot of... It's plus one with plots with... You know what? Fuck it, we're taking him. Plus 25%, that's a lot. Okay, very nice. We're going to get the fuck out here before... These guys have got themselves trapped in here. Very nicely done on their part. See, look, the Chinese have eaten him up. He asked to join us twice. He was like, fuck, I don't want to join the Chinese. Help me out, dude. And no. Okay, requires 22 tools. By the shortfall. French, go away. I'll only be chummy with you once independence starts, and I need your help. Okay. Build a fort. Ah, oh, 37%. Good, we get 40%. We're getting the ball rolling on independence now, folks. Plus 12 Liberty Bells. That's very nice. That's a lot of money. Yeah, we're not gonna... No, we're not gonna do that. We might be able to buy a frigate soon. Oh, sorry, we might be able to buy a frigate! Yeah, a frigate, folks. A frigate. Something seems to happen there. I'll tell you when the game loads. Oh, we're getting a lot of Elder Statesmen. Okay, one indentured servant has become a colonist. We have got one colonist that will become a soldier. That's one, two, three. Oh, yeah, it's all the three colonists that I put into the Elder Statesman position. They've all learned their trade, apparently. Yeah, you be an Elder Statesman. We're we'll getting the ball rolling on Elder Statesman, folk. Can you? Not without killing yourselves. Fantastic. This is the only place that's given me tools. Yeah, you guys can stick with that. I'm not fussed. That's very nice indeed. Okay, you, my good man, will be a dragoon. Yeah. Very nice. See, it's moving all the tobacco around. Doing very good. Because when this place hasn't got enough room for the tobacco, it's going elsewhere. It keeps the stocks from rotting, folks. And if you've seen Grimoth's or SKS's LP, you know all about rotting. And that was actually our first Dragoon unit. Go figure. Go away, you big baldy man. This being said, I would quite like for this place to, you know go and sell things. Where's that frigate? I'm actually gonna have a frigate come over here and keep an eye on the trade route because anything could be over here. It's usually around this time to turn 200, 250 that uh, between, you know, 200 and 250, um, you tend to see pirates appear. So you basically want ships to protect you. Oh, here we go. 150 cigars with 1,305. 150 rum with 1,305. 46 rum with 401. And 150 codes with 1,305. Oh, with 33% Tory. Oh yeah, folks. Very, very nice. And with that money, we're not going to buy a cannon. I told you, it's past 2,000. No longer buying them. No longer worth it. If we have enough, we're going to buy a frigate to bolster our military. And you actually are just going to sail east. 
Very well. You, on the other hand, are going to go to Jamestown. Run it. And you are going to go talk to him. Because why not, folks? Oh, looks like all the Indians came for a party there. <laughs> Yeah, price of everything has plummeted because I've been selling it. God damn it, the king has added more men to his army. Okay, population boots in Fort Awesome, very nice. You're gonna sentry. You see anything over here, you let me know. You talk to the chief. I believe that's a Russian missionary. Is it a Russian missionary? I can't tell from here, folks. Okay, you are just gonna walk up. I've almost explored this entire continent, folks. This single season scout has almost explored this entire place. Well done for him. And that's turn 200, folks. That's what you call a wrap. Adam Smith been taken. Who? I I'm going to extend here a bit more, because why not? Not by much. Adam Smith, there you go, the guy that we've passed. We've got shit tons of trade points because we've been selling all that. Political points. See, political points were ra going up rapidly still. Because we don't care for much this way. And I think the AI will do what we've been doing at the start and just pounce on them as soon as they get them. So basically, we're going to be smarter than the AI, folks. But you'll have to wait till next time to see that. So until then, folks, until then.